Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Elena Dobkin and today I'm going to talk about how to create the perfect ballroom position and to be more specific I will cover shoulder blade, chest, head position and connection in your wrist. This is my second video and if you haven't seen the first one I will link it above and you can check it out. So let's go! I want to start from the head position. First of all, what you need to check that your neck is long and equal from all sides. Sometimes boys put their chin down to low or up to high and girls crunch the left side of the neck. Dance teachers like to use that exercise when they ask to put your thumb where your collarbones meet and put your index finger below your chin. In this case, you won't put your chin too low, but I don't like this exercise because sometimes you can pick up your index finger too much and you will have a cocky neck like that. That's cocky, Ben. No, not cocky. Confident. You can try it if you want, but it's not the best. So let's start from voice. I will use the ruler and will try to explain for you how to check where your head should be. Turn like that, take something long like this ruler, put it on your tailbone, check that it looks straight up and it doesn't look diagonal. Then what you need to know, put your top of the head and touch that ruler. In this case, your tailbone and the top of your head will be in a one line. The same you can do when if you come close to the wall and you will try to touch with the top of your head that wall. Here, what you need to know also, uh, don't pick up your chin too much. You should feel that your chin is looking straight forward and you need to stretch the backward part of your neck a lot. So what exercise I can you recommend to you that you tuck your chin and stretch your head down and then you stretch this part. Because some people have their head too much forward or too, they pick up their chin too up. In this case, they need to work and stretch the backward muscles of the neck. Some guys dance too, like, too much like that and they need to pick up their head. You can put fingers on these bones and up to your ears and stretch the head on the sides. So check that your head is stretched on the sides here, but your chin is not looking up, it's looking straight forward and your head is pushing backward Stretch out the neck. Uh, and if we will draw a circle around the head we will look that it has a shape of uh, oval girls usually crunch the left side of the neck i want to give you a couple exercises that i hope will help you to find your right level turn your chin a little bit to the left you need to check that you see both of your eyes in the mirror so it's not like that it's even less than 45 degrees. There is two ways. One, one other way, you can put your ear down. And here you see that you have long side here, but short side here. Leave this side as it was. Pick up your head to the, this diagonal. Now you can see that you have stretch and long neck here. And also you have the long neck here. The next exercise that you can do, you can stretch the whole body and then put it diagonally from the top of your head to the tailbone. Then open your arms to the side and put it straight, but keep your neck as it was. Okay? And now you have the right diagonal. I gotcha. Diagonally. And as you can see, my nose is looking a little bit diagonally, not to the left too much, and you can see both of my eyes. An eye! Your eye is missing! What can also help if you will imagine that you look around a huge tree and this tree actually is your partner. <laughs> For boys, I also want to mention that they don't look straight forward. They need to put their head, turn their chin a little bit to the left. And they have two ways to how to do it. Or either put it a little bit to the left or just turn the sternum to the right and that will switch the angle. And here you actually need to really practice and, and turn only your sternum but without shoulders. So 
girls and boys you can both do this because it's really important thing for your position and for your dance you can put your arms onto your shoulders and turn your sternum to the right and then to the left. Your head will automatically go to the opposite side and you can actually help and sometimes exaggerate it. And here, that's how you can improve and separate that body muscle. The second topic of today's video will be the level and the openness of our shoulder blade and chest. So how to know how much we need to open our chest and shoulder blade? I can say that it should feel equal. We need to open these shoulders, but sometimes when you open them a lot, you can squeeze your shoulder blade too much. So this is a not right proportion. And the opposite, if you try to stretch your shoulder blades around, you can have this kind of circle shoulders. You need to try to stretch your shoulders backward, your bones, and also stretch your shoulder blades to the sides. If you have the same amount from one side and from other side, that is the right level. You can uh, make a position, uh, first of all, open your chest, and here, for, for example, let's do it like a lot, okay, and then you squeeze your shoulder blades, and then Put your shoulder blades down and when you put it down they kind of go in a little bit from the sides here and the same you can do for girls so let's squeeze them yeah and then you put them down and they kind of go down and to the side for girls i know that teachers sometimes ask to stretch shoulder blade one way and to the other way and they say always oh, stretching your spine stretching your spine stretch norma stretch I had an issue in my career that I was stretching a shoulder blades and I had that kind of uh, my shoulders a little bit up and then they asked me to put your shoulder, shoulder blades down. You can stretch your arms to the side and you see that right now my uh, shoulders are going a little bit up and then put them down or the other way you can squeeze them in order to like to feel that you open your chest and then push your shoulders down. It's up to you and you need to check what looks better for you. For example, if the boy has long and huge arms and he will stretch his elbows and shoulder blades a lot. In this case, girl with the regular length of the arms, she will sink in his frame. Oh, I don't want to sink! That's why sometimes teachers say, okay, you need to squeeze your shoulder blades more. For girls, it's the same. Sometimes girls has also long arms and they ask her not to stretch her shoulder blades a lot but if you take the regular side the regular proportions stretch your shoulders your chest here and also stretch your shoulder blades and then in the end put them down and that will be the perfect level the next thing that i want to talk about is a rib cage sometimes when teachers say lift up your chest dancers do like that and they're not only lifting up their chest they also open in the ribcage because they want to suck the everything into their stomach and they put this ribcage out and they look like a king kong okay it doesn't look really very good so what you need to do of course you pick up your chest but i can say it's like from your sternum and it's go a little bit up then you need to breathe out everything that you have here and from your sternum to your knee everything should be as flat as possible okay and for girls i know that girls create a kind of very nice diagonal but don't do it from your chest do it only from your sternum and of course we want to create long sides so how we can do that we can put one finger on the hip bone and other finger on the lower ribs we stretch it using those fingers let me turn like that look i'm not squeezing my stomach inside i'm just stretching it up so remember ribs not going outside we stretch sides and we pick up our sternum. For boys we pick up a little bit, for girls we pick up it as much as we can, but we separate our rib cage. You need to put your middle finger lower and then squeeze your fingers all together. Between the middle uh, index finger and the thumb you have a space. You squeeze this muscle of the boy's arm. You put your wrist a little bit inside, not too much, but just a bit, and you create this kind of uh, gap. 
And also you do the same with the right arm and I already uh, said about that on my previous class. And this action make pick up your elbows a little bit up and make them look sharper, okay? So look at this one option and look at other options. So it's naturally pick up my elbows up. And for the next part, I want to ask my lovely assistant to help me. His name is Dima, welcome. Thank you. I want to continue to talk about girl's arm. What you want to check that you don't pick up your wrist too high and also you don't pick up your elbow too high. So you don't need to have any gaps here uh, until the elbow and then you keep pick up your elbow a little bit up, but that's what you can create when you turn your wrist inside. For the boy's arm, you need to create the little bit diagonal angle because your girl creating a wave, a diagonal wave backward. So if you put it like this, she will stuck and she will stay straight, okay? So if you turn it diagonally, she will be able to pick up her sternum up and create that nice volume. What else guys need to check? That they have elbow a little bit up, but the wrist is going down. And I know that guys struggle with this line and it hurts and they start to pick up uh, this uh, shoulder. What? So I can show you the good exercise. Some person can come like this, put the one arm on the shoulder and turn the wrist like that. And that's how you can stretch it and then put it lower, lower, lower. And when you will feel like really nice without any pain here, no more pain where you are now. You know that you can start to dance and look really good. So the next thing, you need to put your arm on the shoulder blade starting from this part. So you kind of put it here when her arm starts and then glue to her shoulder blade check that your fingers go in a little bit diagonally down and here check that you don't have any gaps here so you kind of a shelf for her okay and one more thing that i want to mention please squeeze your fingers a little bit and create that like a home for her shoulder blade in this case she will feel really comfortable don't straighten up your fingers because she will feel that you push her towards yourself and also you will have kind of like a robot look. Robot crouching tiger, robot crane style. We have a little bit different level in tango and a little bit different position, but I will make uh, another video when I will talk about the tango position. Let's move on to the uh, boy's left arm and the girl's right arm. I want to talk about connection here. Uh, girls need to put uh, her beginning of her fingers here and then put her wrist down and as you can see right now we find that level when we need to start our connection so i put on that level that we found then we kind of open our wrist and glued all over the way up and here we'll feel that we're like kind of sucking uh like a suction cup yeah, like a suction cup. What boys need to do? They need to have a nice tone feeling in fingers. If boys had uh, long fingers, the, their fingers will end up on the wrist and they can control the wrist of the girl. Sometimes they have like pretty much the same palm size and fingers end up here. They still can control uh, the wrist, but it will look a little bit higher. What else? Here we have a feeling that we have like some some little not like a bird even smaller and we want to save that creature and for example if i blow it into this hole uh the wind will stay there and will not come outside from any other gaps you will stay there you will do nothing so we'll have kind of little gap here but we have a really good good connection here and our sum is not uh, opening like that Okay, so we kind of close it. It still looks up, but it, have, it has a nice line. Okay, so remember, we have like a sucking cup connection. Uh, check that your thumb's on the one level, so it's not like that. Okay, it's not like that. Check that your pinky fingers is not staying like up. It's everything is glued and relaxed. Guys can control your wrist with his fingers and it should be toned. So it's not like you're pushing and you're squeezing everything too much or it's not like relaxed and so weak that you're okay, I wanna sleep, I don't have energy for all that stuff, right? Okay, so 
I think you got it. If I show this uh, on my both arms, you see I have small fingers, small palms. I will start the connection from here, from the down. And I have the nice connection. But with Dima, I need to pick up it all of the way here in order to have my fingers here and not like only the tips of my fingers. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. That's it for today. Subscribe to my channel and don't miss my video about perfect ballroom position part 3. Mwah! Too much high and in this case you will have a cocky neck. <laughs> okay, can you tell your name? Okay. <laughs> can you Dimachka, you already stay here. <laughs> no! Stay here! Okay, Dimachka, let's turn. <laughs> it's kind of look like I'm like a boss. Oh my god! <laughs> when you pick a turn, the if I blow, <laughs> if I, can I say that? <laughs> Maybe need